love to see how colors interact with each other. It's really fascinating to see what happens with color. So color is, is and, and seeing it mix is really exciting. always try and do uh, black and white of a design because then you're not you, you're analyzing the design and you're not smitten with what's happening with the color you have fabrics that that are picked out and just say spring fabrics if you have an even number a 50 50 or a 60 40 of purple and yellow now those are opposites if you have a, that percentage the fabric tends to be trite but if you have a lot of purple and just a hit of yellow, then it's not trite. I've been doing circles for a long time and when you cut the arcs, they don't go back together the way they cut out. So I wanted to figure out how to get the circles done without using templates and have everything match. I didn't want to have that look. That's what I love about them. They aren't manufactured looking. They aren't stamped out or laser cut. Every one of them is individual. The series before the circles, the spheres, was leaves. I wanted the leaves to get out of the box. And so then I started putting them off the edges. And then gravity worked and they would start to, so I had to reinforce them or leave them coming down off the bottom and things like that. And then some of those quilts don't even have the box anymore. And that's when I started doing no, no more box. Yeah, so it was. You know, and then, then the spheres come along with these jagged pieces coming out to space. When you're using the machine to quilt, you want to be able to think of it as moving the paper under the pencil and making a line. And so I really sketch when I'm doing any of, I'm not following, I am following lines a little bit, but I'm also sketching so that I'm, I'm drawing with the needle and thread. And you can get so involved in what you're doing uh, when you're doing the drawing that you find out that the machine isn't stitching anymore and you've run out of bobbin thread. And you, you know, you're so involved in what's right there that you don't even know what's happening. I can't imagine not creating something working with my hands. And I know that I, I, um, I do put a lot of thought into the pieces that I do. So it's always been me playing with, and I, th and I think it is play, me playing with materials. I, I see potential in a lot of the materials that um, other people would throw away. It's, it's something that I have to do. I don't know how else to explain it.